small factory of life floats in the immensity of the sea. Loaded with the power of photosynthetic pigments, this mangrove seed faces a long journey across the great blue, crossing entire oceans in its quest to conquer new lands in which to sow the seeds of life. Our story begins with this small, fertile traveler and its arrival in the Cuban archipelago, a land of still undiscovered nature, eclipsed by the beauty of its coral sea. Like this one, other mangroves too came from distant lands and created a fascinating little-known world, a jungle half above ground, half beneath water an impenetrable maze where countless animals find refuge, the mangrove forest. Inside this strange world, life survives between extremes. There are excesses of salt, of humidity and of heat. And every day it goes from droughts to floods, dictated by the tides. The fauna that has colonized it has had to overcome countless obstacles and that has made it very much like the mangrove kingdom itself. Just as rich, as unknown and as dangerous. In this impossible world, a surprise lurks around every corner. Every animal is an enigma and every shadow a potential danger. This complex labyrinth is the legacy of that intrepid sea which came across the immensity of the ocean. A fascinating paradise where life has remained untouched by man. The coral world surrounds the Cuban archipelago. Enormous coral structures, the result of thousands of years of patient calcareous construction, constitute the reefs which fill the coasts of Cuba with life. It is not a sea rich in nutrients, but protected by the corals, life multiplies in an explosion of biodiversity. The coral reef is composed of millions of tiny filtering polyps capable of turning the solar energy and the scarce nutrients in the water into organic material available for other organisms in the coral community. Starting with them, the chain becomes increasingly complex and thousands of different life forms develop from the fragile invertebrates to the most highly evolved complex fish. The tiny coral polyps join forces with the microscopic photosynthetic algae which enable them to generate the external skeletons of calcium carbonate. When the polyps die, their skeletons remain, and on them settle millions of new polyps creating layer upon layer, and so over countless generations, the coral reef is slowly constructed. In this calcareous world, each one occupies its own particular niche, and its role affects the rest of the community. It is not easy to find food in the world of the reef, and the only way to survive is to specialize.
For these little irasses picking about the skin of a moray ill, the solution meant an obvious risk, but they found their place by becoming cleaners of other fish. Despite their small size, the irasses do not fear any of the fish in the reef. They all need them to remove the pesky parasites and impurities from their skin. So the different cleaner irasses have permission to approach and touch the bodies of all of them, even the most ferocious looking ones like this green moray.